New South Wales sustaining the Basin Border Rivers Gwida and the Australian Government are providing training in drip irrigation. The one-day program is designed for both irrigators currently contemplating a change in irrigation systems as well as current drip irrigators. Design and installation of the system was presented by New South Wales State Manager for Netafim, Wayne Ingram. The first uh, um, thing that I raised with growers is to say to them that we really pretty much insist on having an accurate survey, topographical survey. So it's very important for us to have the lengths, the breadths and especially the heights. Um, we need that accurate data uh, because we're dealing with a precision um, irrigation system and accuracy is the name of the game. Do they normally have that information or have they got to get that done? Quite often they might have it, um, but if they don't it's, it's easily obtained through local survey companies and again the technology with the survey companies means that this kind of information can be gained quite uh, economically and quite easily with no fuss. What are some of the major problems that you've come across with growers? Um, well I guess a lot of it is uh, um, lack of knowledge probably the main thing and it's really an education process so part of what we do is we we spread the word about um, what is required for drip irrigation the benefits uh, the pitfalls and yeah it's an ongoing educational process is it a problem for the growers in terms of meeting the capacity or the needs of the crop they're going to grow does that come into the design aspect yes absolutely every crop has a different requirement and uh, every region has a different requirement for the same crop and so on so we do rely on local knowledge, uh, local agronomists, uh, our own records, our own experience and if the growers are uncertain of it we can certainly provide some guidance as to what the crop uh, requirements are at the peak period. But it's not only satisfying the peak period, it's also being able to ensure that we have a reliable source for the entire duration of that particular season. What are the most important uh, aspects for growers to consider with installation? Okay, installation uh, in many cases um, can be um, a problem because uh, people believe that they can do the installation themselves uh, without having had any prior experience and this is where a lot of people get into trouble. So for newcomers uh, we would certainly uh, advise that they should work with experienced operators at least uh, to show them the process the first time around and then as they gain the experience and I guess to a point the confidence um, then they can actually do uh, or undertake some of the installation themselves. What are some of the problems they come across if they do it themselves? Uh, well, obviously the lack of knowledge, but also the um, making the, the right connections with the right products, um, trenching, uh, the correct depth of burial of the product, uh, backfilling with the correct materials, um, undertaking the correct uh, flushing uh, process before final uh, pressurisation of the, of the system itself. I guess one of the problems, uh, well not a problem with drip so much, but if you make mistakes in that early stage it's pretty expensive to sort of dig it up and start again. Very much so. Spe yeah, anything underground is, is a problem to go back to and fix. Um, anything above ground is not so, not so bad, but nonetheless it's expensive, it's unnecessary and um, really why make uh, the same mistakes that other people have made, yeah. rather work, rather um, learn from others' mistakes. Yes. Wayne, um, there's been a lot of advancements made in DRIP over the years. What sort of life expectancy can people uh, count on getting these days? Okay, good question and I do get asked that question a lot. And uh, look, the, the products uh, that are available these days are very reliable. So with the proper design, installation that we've mentioned, um, maintenance of the system, I would expect that uh, a life, uh, life system of a, of a drip um, system would be 15 years. But again, it depends on the care that's taken and it depends on the, which, which of the components we're talking about.